While it's not always the location that makes or breaks a date, it can definitely play a part. So here are the top 10 worst date night restaurants. Oh my god, this is the worst date ever! Modern Toilet Restaurant and, and when I say toilet, I mean the toilet! Taipei, Taiwan is full of fun things to do, and one of those things is visiting perhaps one of the grossest restaurant concepts in history, the Modern Toilet Restaurant. Yeah, what? This place was opened up after the owner, Wang Si Wei, had success selling poop-like ice cream out of mini toilets. The name of the restaurant speaks for itself. This place is a restaurant-slash-cafe-slash-dessert bar located in a toilet-themed space. The seats are actual toilets, you drink coke out of mini urinals, the tables have toilet bowls with fake poo in them, and even the couches are giant toilets. Not operational, which makes things so much better. Thank God for that! The walls are adorned with shower heads and plungers hang from the ceiling along with poop-shaped lights. Isn't this the peak of romance? How romantic! While it's true that all of this can be fun and quirky, we'd suggest that you go here with someone you already feel very comfortable with. And in most cases, even if your date enjoys toilet humor, we can all agree that this is a bit too much for a first impression. If you're sure that your date would enjoy this toilet-themed restaurant but you don't live in Taipei, don't worry! As of 2020, Modern Toilet has 19 locations, including two in Hong Hong Kong. We can't tell you what to do, so if you do end up bringing your date here, just don't try using any of the fake toilets and you should be fine. You'll be fine. McDonald's I want McDonald's. While McDonald's is a great place to hang out with your friends or grab a quick bite when you're feeling peckish, we wouldn't suggest you bring a date there. And if you've ever brought a date to McD's before, we just have one question. Why? Why would you do that? The combination of cheap, greasy food and questionable bathrooms screams anything but romance. And while the Golden Arches are great for road trips or a late-night drive through we doubt your date will be impressed. Because they deserve better, and they'll definitely realize that real fast if you pull into a McDonald's parking lot. Uh, hello? Yes, welcome to McDonald's. Can I help you? If you want to grab a McFlurry and go on a drive, or maybe get takeout and go on a picnic, that's acceptable. But if you're taking someone on on a date to sit in a McDonald's and eat your Big Mac while awkwardly trying to make small talk? That is simply a no-go, especially if there's a play place. Screaming kids, annoyed adults, and that one person who's charging their laptop in a corner do not make for a date-like atmosphere. Oh yeah, there's probably even a group of teenagers throwing french fries at each other. All in all, this is probably one of the least romantic places you could ever find yourself in, and you should avoid it at all costs if you're looking to make a good first impression. First impression could often be the right one. Ichiran I'm afraid it's top ramen again. Ichiran began in Hakata, the epicenter of the tonkatsu ramen movement. Tonkatsu ramen, for those who don't know, is a unique style of ramen consisting of an extremely rich, fatty pork broth, fresh noodles, soft yolk eggs, and tender pork belly that melts in the mouth. This is delicious. Ichiran prides itself on providing its customers with the best of the best, using only the finest ingredients, the most advanced techniques, and the most masterful chefs. Ichiran is also committed to letting its customers fully appreciate their ramen at any cost. You might be wondering what that means. Well, this restaurant is unique because it seats its guests in a solo dining area. Why? So they can fully appreciate their ramen. Ramen never lets you down. The dining area includes a self-serving water station as well as a curtain to block out all other diners. Not really the best way to get to know your date now, is it? The chain started in 1960 under the name Futaba Ramen, but it changed its name to Ichiran in 1966. Three decades later, it started expanding to other locations, and it now has more than 65 locations all over the world, including places like Hong Kong, Taipei, and New York. If your date is a massive ramen fan, they might appreciate the gesture, but be warned that they might end up liking the food more than they like you. Food does not equal love! Dinner in the Sky up, up, and away with. Everyone knows the classic horror movie date scenario. It goes like this. You take your date to see a horror movie, you buy the popcorn, find a nice corner of the theater to sit in, then when there's a jump scare or tense music, your date grabs onto your arm, or maybe even your hand if you're lucky. 
Dinner in the sky is kind of like this, only ten times worse. Well, that is, if your date is deathly afraid of heights. Well, I'm not afraid of heights, I'm afraid of falling. This novel restaurant uses a crane to hoist its diners, tables, and waiting staff 150 feet into the air. Dinner in the Sky was founded in 2002 by David Hesels. He partnered with Stefan Kirchhoff, a bungee jump organizer, to create an aerial-based dinner experience for the Jeune Restaurateur de Europe Association. That's fancy. <laughs> That's fancy. Shortly after the idea leaked out, the pair started receiving phone calls from people worldwide who wanted to experience aerial dining, and so their franchise was born. Within two years, Dinner in the Sky was operating in more than a dozen countries, including Canada, China, and France. Forbes magazine has listed it as one of the world's most unusual restaurants, and we definitely have to agree. This carnival-like dining experience is something no one has done before, and it's obvious that the idea has been well-received by those who are looking to add some pizzazz to their dinner game. Have a little more pizzazz. If you're thinking of taking your date here, make sure your budget will allow for it. The cost of this restaurant is approximately $290 per person. That's expensive. Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese? Oh, God, I'm so sick of Chuck E. Cheese. Okay, this one just seems obvious. When you're taking someone on a date, avoid screaming children at all costs. While Chuck E. Cheese holds many precious memories for people, birthday parties, family dinners, playing games with friends, there's a reason why it isn't a popular date location. Look, I know you loved Chuck E. Cheese. Why? Well, just like the McDonald's play place, sticky, crying kids isn't exactly something that makes someone feel romantic. Sure, you might have fun playing the games and earning lots of tickets, but when it comes to eating and having to talk to each other, well, your conversation topics might include embarrassing birthday parties or the fun fact that Chuck E. Cheese used to be a rat until he was changed to a mouse in 1993. What a sneaky, overreaching little <gasps> rat! While it is an interesting fact, we doubt that it'll be enough to impress your date. Plus, we're pretty sure the animatronic mascots could give either one or both of you nightmares for weeks. But who knows, maybe you and your date will bond over fond memories of Chuck E. Cheese and you'll fall madly in love. And one day you can bring your kids to the same Chuck E. Cheese and tell them that's where their parents had their first date. And that, kids, is how I met your mother. Or your date could just get weirded out that you wanted to go to an anthropomorphic mouse establishment and just never show up. Who's to say? I've been stood up. Garfield eats. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Garfield. <laughs> If you've been a fan of the Garfield comics over the years, then you might have heard about Garfield Eats, the world's first Garfield-themed restaurant. It opened up in Toronto and features Garfield-shaped pizza and chocolates, Garfachinos, and, of course, a lasagna, the grumpy orange cat's favorite meal. Did you eat all four boxes of lasagna? The restaurant's founder, Nathan Masri, describes his pet project as the world's first intergaging Garfield licensed quick mobile restaurant. And if you don't know what that means, don't worry, you're not alone. It's a tableless restaurant where you can order Garfield shaped things. Now I've got Garfield syndrome. Unfortunately, with Garfield Eats, you might be paying for the novelty of the product rather than the quality. The food has been described as cardboardy and overpriced, meaning that if your date wasn't put off by the Garfield-shaped products or the slight cult-esque slogan, love me, feed me, don't leave me, they definitely won't appreciate how those products taste. My mouth tastes so bad all of a sudden. While the idea is funny at first, Garfield Eats has been having a hard time lately. Due to the pandemic, the amount of Garfield Eats customers started dwindling. As a result, the restaurant's landlord got nervous and demanded an advance on the rent. Garfield Eats didn't pay it, which led to the landlord locking out the staff overnight. According to the press release, the entire thing turned into a nightmare for the beloved cat and young founder, Nathan Masri. But don't worry, if you still want to give your date Garfield-themed things, Garfield Eats has opened an online shop that seems to be thriving, so nothing is getting in the way of finally getting that good old Garfield lasagna. I made your favorite lasagna. Hospitalis. Smell, hospital people, hospital food. 
Well, this one definitely takes the prize for the weirdest restaurant you could ever take your date to. Hospitalis is a hospital-themed restaurant where the bartenders wear lab coats and waitresses are dressed in skimpy nurses' uniforms with bright orange wigs. It's located in Riga, Latvia, and if you dine here, you get to eat amongst operating tables, medical equipment, and other miscellaneous hospital-related things. Eat this stupid hospital. X-rays hang on the walls, and video screens play medical clips from various popular movies, meaning that this is both dinner and a show. If that already sounds like a lot, don't worry, of course there's more. There's loads more. Food is served in surgical utensils, and drinks are served in test tubes, vials, and IV bags. Spoons and forks are replaced by syringes and scalpels. Hospitalis also has a small crazy menu with entrees like liver-filled quail that are prepared in such a way as to resemble body parts. To spice up your dinner, you can opt to have yourself bound in a straitjacket and fed by one of the nurse waitresses, which definitely sounds like an experience. So I guess if your date loves Grey's Anatomy and horror movies, Hospitalis is a great mix of the two. Scary. It's a horror show meets dining experience, one that takes your sense of reality and possibly a sensitive stomach for a dark, dreamlike roller coaster ride. But while that experience might be fun, or at least something to talk about on the drive back, we think that this just might be enough to scare your date away. <coughs> Forteza Medicia Restaurant for those who are unaware, the Forteza Medicia is an imposing fortress that overlooks Volterra in Italy. It was built in 1474 as a high-security prison for criminals serving more than seven years. As an attempt at rehabilitation, the prison's administration began to operate a restaurant within the prison, using inmates as staff. The prisoners, many of whom have been incarcerated for violent crimes, cook the food, serve the guests, and some even play instruments for the patrons. That sounds amazing. The project has attracted plenty of clients and the international press. But if you want to book a seat, you have to obey certain rules. Rules are rules. First off, you're not allowed to bring phones or bags to the jail or restaurant. At the entrance, you're searched for any signs of metal and all the cutlery is plastic. Oh, and you also have to get a background check done on you. But despite these extensive security measures, the restaurant is extremely successful, as it's almost impossible to get a table at this place. This is taking forever. One of the reasons that it's so hard to get a seat is because these dinners are only served eight times per year. The dinners have been going on for over 11 years, and around 30 of the past inmates who participated in the program now work in restaurants, so it seems as though the rehabilitation program is working. In any case, it's a little rude to ask your date for a background check, so you might want to wait until you're sure they're not a criminal mastermind before asking them to go to this restaurant. Give it up, Lise. She's a criminal mastermind. Robot Restaurant Your robot doesn't know it's a robot. The robot restaurant opened up in Tokyo in 2012 and has gained quite the name for itself. It is, in fact, arguably one of Tokyo's most popular and iconic attractions. Why? Well, the interior is covered with reflective surfaces. Everything is bathed in neon lights and laser beams, performers dance to pulsing lights and music, taiko drumming, giant robot battles, and fights between monsters and samurai are par for the course. D did I hear that right? Is this something that you should visit if you ever go to Tokyo? 100% yes, but not for a date. Here's our reasoning. You won't be able to talk over the loud music, the lights are probably more than a little overwhelming, and who's to say your date won't fall in love with your robot server? When you go out with someone, you want to be able to pay attention to them, and you want them to be paying attention to you, too. You love the attention. With the robot restaurant, everything is just too distracting. Play it safe and take them to a nice, quiet restaurant. You'll be able to get the full robot experience after the robot uprising anyways. The robot uprising didn't happen. Disaster Cafe. We got a disaster on our hands. A disaster. Based on the name alone, you should know that if you bring your date here, it's going to be, well, a disaster. This cafe is in Lloret de Mar, Spain, and each dinner comes with a nerve-wracking 7.8 magnitude earthquake. All cafe workers and staff are required to wear construction helmets while serving the meals, and if you eat there, you must always be vigilant because no one knows when the earthquake is going to strike. Earthquake! 
we're not going to lie. We understand why this is such a popular restaurant. You finally get to test out those earthquake drills they made you do in elementary school, and this is like an almost real version of those. But it's kind of hard to get to know your date when you're constantly waiting for the ground to start shaking. Plus, what happens if your food falls on their head? Fell on my head? Rest assured it was a stuntman. All in all, we're pretty sure if you bring a date here, it'd be disastrous. Or rather, your relationship would be off to a shaky start. Ultimately, if you want a stable relationship, take them somewhere with stable ground. Is it stable? Yes, it's stable. Have a taste of more great videos. Just tap or click. First time here? Then leave us a comment, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell.